Clara from Cyber News here. Here's what happened in the cyber world this week. Google's five-year legal battle with USA antitrust regulators ended in victory for the company. This means they can keep Chrome and Android as long as they agree to share data with competitors. The decision is expected to boost the development of AI firms like OpenAI, which could eventually put Google in a sticky situation. For now, both Google and Apple, which gets lucrative payments from Google, can catch their breath. Another highlight from last week was China's massive military parade. The event showcased new alliances in the geopolitical order and military and AI technology, particularly nuclear, sending a clear message to the US, don't mess with us. Among the equipment were underwater drones, intercontinental ballistic missiles, our defenses lasers, and these charming but deadly robotic wolves. Regarding cybercrime, the US Department of State announced a reward of up to $10 million last Tuesday for information on three Russian Federal Security Service officers accused of cyber attacks on behalf of Russia. The hackers have been active since 2012, targeting more than 500 foreign energy companies in 100 35 countries, including critical U.S. infrastructure like the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Lastly, something fresh comes from Anthropic. The company has lost the largest ever settlement in a U.S. copyright case and will have to pay $1.5 billion to authors, roughly $3,000 per work or book. The decision comes after a judge ruled that Anthropic had illegally downloaded and stolen millions of copyrighted books, so now it must pay authors and destroy the downloaded files and copies. This ruling follows a small win for Anthropic, where a judge confirmed it had the right to train AI models on legally purchased books, but pirated ones still off limits. That was our weekly roundabout. What are your thoughts on this week's news?